Tony and I are currently in Ohio, as you can see, but the video that you are about to see is not from Ohio. This video is from January. It's the start of tearing apart my Maverick. The start of assessing all the damage and seeing exactly what happened in my crash. The only reason you're seeing this now, Tony and I took a bit of a break from posting videos, but we were filming the whole time. So we're gonna start putting out some older content just so you can see what happened while we were gone, see what happened with Maverick and uh, see where we're at with it now. So this video is the first of a couple of pulling the Maverick apart and just assessing the damage. Welcome back to my garage. <laughs> We need lights. Let there be light. Hello. It's time to take this thing apart. Yay, I'm so excited. Put your butt into it. Oh, well we're just rubbing the butt against the wall. It's fine. It hurt anything too much. It still spins. Huh? Oh man. Oh no. What? It's a cute little bracket that Stafford made. It looks like a, like a wet noodle. It's just a little broken. Oh my god. No, God! Motor plate's just a little broken. No, God, Slightly. please, no! And a few pieces. No! That's just a little broken. No! Yeah, it's broken in like three or four places. What a champ. Yeah. The new headers, are you gonna do stainless or just black again? Ask my wallet when we get there. Well, unfortunately, what? we're gonna have to cut your tubes off. What? They're, the tubes are smashed into the bolts. Why would you do that? What I'm gonna do is go get my saws off. And then no. You're gonna no, Greg made them so pretty. Yeah, you kind of made them not so pretty anymore. Everything's just in the way. Like, what point did the header bolt come loose? What? At what point, man? Yeah. Uh, the point where <laughs> the car vibrates the shit out of everything? No. Like... Does that smell like fuel? That shouldn't smell like fuel. That 
smells like fuel. That looks okay. Not uh, bent at all. This one's not happy at all. It's a little bent, I think. That's uh, it's, it's not good. That's a broke motor plate. Help me. Me. You should call TMZ and say, hey, I'll trade you a four piece four piece uh, motor plate and a S curve mid plate. I'll send a picture to Frankie right now. It seems as though it hit the right side harder. Well, I don't think it hit harder, it just hit twice. It kind of feels that. It kind of smells good. Hello. Welcome to the GoPro. Smashed into the ah. bolts. Yeah, the whole cage is crooked. It wasn't like that. Yeah, it was. It was that part was not that bad. Maybe. It's been pretty good. It's fine. Ah, look at my vibrant clamp. So good. It's done. But I can't get it out. I can't get it out. What if they didn't hit anything and they just got pulled? Uh -oh. And they just got pulled that tight. That's what happened. Maybe. Ooh, I got hit by something. What? The regulator right there. Then we build a new car. We'll put a, a, a tank in the back and then. Everything? Yeah. A little easier to get to so you don't have to roll on the floor in the, in the lanes. this almost most of the way and then somehow flipped the wrench and started tightening it without even realizing <laughs> I'm an idiot. We have to take the motor out separate from the trains so we have to unhook. Hmm? We have to disconnect the bell housing and oh. all started rolling. Unless you just want to, uh, I mean nothing's good. No, we'll just undo the motor plate and they plate together and then just take it out. Really? Really? <laughs> That's so cute. I was thinking like, why the hell are these facing backwards? And then I realized it's not normal to have the shit going back into the car. It's normally going forward. Hey, you're cranking over there and I'm still trying to work down and get ahead of you though. I tried to start the belt, took the brakes off. Well, I was right here. And I don't want to put the tire on, but I know I can do it. I'm trying to see what's in my way. There's just a bunch of shit in here. Holy cow. What do you mean? Oh, oh. What the is breeze? That? Yeah. Where did that come from? Is it? I have to find out. There's just a ton of it in the intake. Okay, we got Everything's it. disconnected from up here. We gotta put on the jack stands. You have to uh, 
You should take your belt while you... Well, I guess you can't. It's off. I just can't get that thing off. This is all I need to get off. Yeah, it went right into your firewall. The firewall is busted in right there. Out of all the places to lay. Okay. After that, what bearing. kind of bearings are those? Micro blues. Uh oh. What? It might not be okay. Maybe. Maybe it's a spindle that's bent. Jill, I'm gonna need you to move, sir. I'm gonna come off of this. What if you lose 10 pounds and we still have 13? bolts that held on your bump steer did not bend or break. Well, I got it out, but you can see inside the wheel where it yeah. hit and like took material off the inside. Hello, welcome to my garage today. We're, we're doing things and stuff related to vehicles, related to a crashed vehicle. We're taking, taking stuff apart. There's definitely some damage in there. And this, this we can't get out. This might be okay. That that might have an issue, but it's fine. Don't worry about that. What are you doing over there? Don't damage my parts. Oh, there we go. Titanium. Yeah, this thing's definitely bent. It's almost like you hit the right side harder than the left, or just twice. I don't know. Titanium. That port, this fiddle's still good. It just the wheel might wobble a little. What are you doing? Doing an oil change. Oil change. Oil change. Changing the earls. Who's Earl, huh? You think there's gonna be parts in there? No. I'm nervous. It's the tube is really strong, so. Oh, there you go. New. You're just gonna throw away my titanium and not use it. No, new no, no arms. Well, it might still be good. You have a text message. Oh no! Oh no! It's oh, your plug no. wire. What? Are you, the whole plug wire. Oh no! What are you doing? You got a rag over there. It plopped in there. Do you think it's still 
good. It's in the slimy stuff. Oh, that, that was great. I don't know what was falling on me. It fell from up there somewhere. I blame you. Watch your face. Oh, I need the cutters. You ruined them all. Ruined. Hold on. Stop moving it. Pull it this way. Well, oh, it's underneath the foot. It's underneath the pan. It's okay to get rust in your eye, right? How do I get the uh, Grey Mare Lightning Package on a Maverick? Is that possible? Can you? Yeah, we're gonna do it today. I'm out there. Give you twenty bucks a cheeseburger and uh, turn the wheel. And hacksaw. Get up there and turn the wheel. Turn it to left or yeah, left probably. Right there. Yeah, right there. That's it. That's the ticket. Bolts hold on for dear life. Titaniums, the rack still looks like it's okay. You're not using this rack anymore. I know, but it still looks like it's okay. Well, maybe it's not okay. It's a little crooked. It's crooked. I don't know if it's a camera group. I think it's pushed in. What you doing? I'm taking the super nice, not damaged fuel tank off. Oh, let me uh, get on that side. What? Super nice, not damaged. Super nice. It's fine. A little duct tape. What are you doing? Taking out the fuel tank? What else we got to do? Taking out my super nice fuel tank. Ooh. I'm going to have to send it to Aeromotive. Yeah. Talk to the, the nice gentleman. It's fine. It's just got a few bad fins. The guy from Aeromotive said that they take these things and throw them down a hill to test them on a fuel cell. That's what you learned up here? Yeah. I learned that I want to go work for Aeromotive. So after the tanks, we'll take out the coils and then pull it out. This one's a little hard to get to. Oh, it's titanium. I wonder if we have any bent titaniums. I don't think we do, even the long ones. I think maybe we do. Are you going to put that in a scrap pile? What? That, or the scrap pile and stuff? It's fixable. You're right. I'm doing cutters. We got a whole pack of them. Those are terrible. It's still, it's still good. It might still hold some fuel. You never know. It's fine. Right? Yes, yeah. It's fine. It's a handle. I think the right side, it's weird because this down bar is bent further in, but this has more damage to it. I don't get it. Because this hit more like this. This one hit it from like this. That one hit it from the whole side. This is what we get. <laughs> I just bought new black seats for my car and there's a dog just laying on it. That's not a dog, this is jello. It's okay. This isn't even titanium. I could use a power tool on this. It should I'm just yeah. myself. But this tank is still all right. If we needed to, we could still use it again. Well, your fittings are cross-eyed, I don't think. Probably pop them out. I still use my old pan and it looked worse than this. The only thing that's good on that tank is a couple of the fittings. And the, oh, the water pump. Most people don't know, but yes. Anything awkward? That is a water pump. Hello world, this is a water pump. <laughs> It's a secret water pump. A lot, of, a lot of people don't know, but this is a water pump. You don't know that that, <laughs> that water pumps don't have to come from CSR or Missouri, that you can buy one that weighs. I mean, it's definitely worked. That water pump and tank 
weighs the same as a Mazir or... Oh, there we go. Oh, ah, my foot! We're, we're, we're still hooked up. Oh no! Here, with the cutters. I can't believe how dull those are. Why did you cut with these? That's terrible. You gotta rip it with them. You can't just cut it. Yeah, you doesn't just cut them. Okay, so we're gonna set this up and so we can take the coils off and we're gonna clean this place up a little bit, right? Huh? What? We're gonna clean this place up. We'll clean everything up. We got a bunch of titanium bolts. You didn't put away the tools, I cleaned them. It's okay, you need to cut the header. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. We're almost ready. You can undo the bolt on, on these two. I think it's just this one that's touching. Okay, well, get underneath there. Set up your little camera. Get underneath it before I put this there. What was it 516th? You're missing a 516th. You lost it. You lost it. Oh, I lost it or did you lose it? I set it there. You, you lost, lost it. it. Okay. I'm back it's under fine. this guy. It's Marley, fine. move your butt. I need safety glasses to be under here. Okay, maybe we can't get them. I can get this one. We'll probably take this set it on the ground and then. Tomorrow. We can pull it out with these on there, can't we? No, it's gonna wrap in the frame. Yeah, we're just gonna have to cut them, huh? You can't get them all out. Well, the two in the middle are squished. I can get the last one. Okay, we'll get the last one. Well, what's the point of getting the last one if we still have to cut it off? Well, you don't have to cut. That's just two you don't have to cut off. We still have to cut them off. You wanna cut them all off? We're not gonna cut them off right here. So, yeah. we yeah. gotta cut all the pipes off. Oh, okay, you ready? Yeah. I also was not supposed to use an extension as a freaking punch. Using an extension? Where's that wrench? Huh? Where's that wrench? What wrench? The five six feet. In my hand, get out of there. I don't have it. Let me see if it fits. What are you doing? You're just making a bunch of noise. Try not to smash your headers the other way. They look good from this side. Oh no, they don't. Never mind. Punch the hole in it. Does that count? I think it's okay. Yeah, I'd, I'd say so. I could use your assistance here. Oh, but you left. That's okay. I can do this one handed. It's fine. See the motor moving? Yeah, because it's not attached to the I front. know. It's just, just hanging. Okay, take those mid plate bolts off. Here you go. Use two hands. Put my ice cream down. Yeah. Are those titanium? Yeah. You using an electric device on my titanium? You got the electric device for me. That's okay, it's slow. Titanium. This is the pile of wreckage. Just as it go in there. Why are you licking my pants, Bella? We're gonna do the mid plate too. We're, we're taking it all out together. Yeah, it's easy. Oh yeah, that's not. Oh, there's more room. That's good. A lot more room now. You got it. Excuse me, that's too yeah. There's no way your big hands would do this. Well, I'd get a bar. Watch out for that blower, that's still good. Oh, I'm not worried about the head. Come right. on, you ready? Go. Some more titanium. Get the bolts out now. Get your bolts out. Whoa, it's dangling. Oh. 
wire. Oh. My is the drive shaft out? Look under me. No. No, it's still in. That transmission looks new. Yeah. It's messy old tool. Where are you? For the bottom yeah. drawer or the right? Yeah. Medium. Oh, I was looking for you. Oh, you're looking for me. I forgot where you were. Drive shaft jammed into your transmission so hard. I forget what it is. You won't eat a french fry, you won't eat burger bread, but you'll eat my AirPods. Is it coming out? Barely. That's not a good sign. Oh, still working. Well, what? your tail shaft was cracked and I did it. And Broke? It's broke. I need a pan dripping. You ruined my transmission. Actually, just give me a rag. You okay in there? No. No? It's all, it's not good. No? How bad is it? Uh, give me the grinder with the cutoff wheel. I'm gonna cut your. Oh, shit. I'm gonna cut this so it can drop down. Why is the thing coming out of the butt? Because I hit it. There's a special tool it. There, are you happy? I'll put it back in. Yes, thank you. I'm very happy. Uh, it's not one to come out. We have to take it out and beat it harder. Huh? I have to, I have to drop it down. Give me the grinder with. Okay. The drive shaft is still attached. <laughs> it's fine. Yep, the drive shaft is still attached. I'm just gonna try and pull it out that way. Jeez, there's a bunch of stuff coming out. What? Yeah. It does that. It's copper. I know. That's a lot. Oh. I'm going to have to open the garage. Oh, no. My heat. Oh. Here, that's a little bit belt cover. So buff. The whole thing's long. Because <laughs> it's trash shafts like that. Well, the drive shaft bends right there. Yeah, but I, I can't make the turn. Oh, my heat! It's cold! Oh, my heat! Oh, wait. Oh, the dipstick is still attached. No, I got that out of there. Huh? Fell on a brake line. Oh. You gotta lift it. There. Squished it together. You squished it. Turn it so it'll bend more. Well, mm -hmm. It flew up there. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what, Jello? Kick it. Kick it over. Kick it. Come on. It almost took me out. Okay, right there. That's where it's going to live. Yes. Oh, well, you want to take that thing out? Yeah. Oh, we're leaking. The garage carpet's getting wet. It's out. All together. What? It's out all together. All of it. What are you doing? I'm loosening these things. That one isn't getting loose. Jesus Christ. Wow. Hopefully that's the one I bought. not do that to the camera equipment so I would appreciate all these are loose except for that one. You hit a wall three times. But that doesn't make these loose. Yes it does. What kind of transmission you got here? Is this C4? It's a belt. Is it an AOD? Is it an AOD? Yeah, C6. Is it a built C6 out of a motorhome? Yeah. Got a shift kit? Those gears, man. I'll put this one like this. Maybe we'll, cla maybe we'll clearance that one. Next time. 
I got an idea. What? Put one back in the top. That's a good idea. Don't use that hand. I don't know why it hurts. <laughs> use the better. use the impact. No, because it's not. You gotta lift it a little bit. No, okay, it's good now. It's, it's not even on the thread. Oh no, it's peeing. It's peeing on my garage carpet. Tighten no, tighten it all the way. Huh? Tighten it all the way. I'll tighten you all the way. That sounds so terrible. <laughs> Yeah. Don't use that. It's titanium. I'm being careful. I bet you are. You gotta lift the tranny up and pull it out with converter in it. No, not like that. Huh? You gotta grab it from underneath. <laughs> Do it. Pull it. Pull it. Watch the converter pop out and drip oil all over your carpet. <sighs> Go. Go, come on. There it is. You're peeing. Stop peeing. <laughs> oh, it's too late now. <laughs> oh, never a dull moment. Uh, okay. Okay, pull the tranny back. I'm going to take that in tomorrow. I'm going to take you in tomorrow. I'm going to take it with our spare one. <gasps> okay, pull your, cool. pull your converter cool. out. What kind of converter is that? Is that a Mojave? We're back. Okay, we left off of. Why don't you take it with it? Does he dyno it? Because Wendell said that it's easier to dyno it if you have the converter. Pull the converter off. I'll pull your converter off. Again, I don't think that's not absolutely terrible. I'm not sure if I have a converter, but you can pull it off if I have one. <laughs> is it gonna puke? Yep, yeah, pull it out and stick it right on the butt. Pop it right on the ground, right on the butt. I heard a snort and there's a dog laying on my seat again. <laughs> oh, this thing. Ah! Just take this one off. Where's this from? This thing's straight. This goes in the, the, the parts bin. You gotta take your water. It's clearance. So what is it that we're doing right there? What? What are you taking off? Is that a tranny filter? Yes. Super high tech filter of the tranny. You get a cap? I don't have one. It's gonna puke. Oh yeah, this is a slot right there. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Merry Christmas. Oh, whoa, whoa. oh, 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 pretty blue fluid. I was looking for red fluid, but we don't use that anymore. No, oh, you're fancy. Uh, it's not bad. No, I, maybe it was well on. I mean, there's still threads there. Well, now what are we doing now? That doesn't sound right. Well, now what are we doing yeah, now? Yeah, well now what are we doing now? Okay, so we're taking off the struts. What are we doing with them? We're fixing them. You're going the wrong way anyway. You're still going the wrong way. I'm going the opposite way of the way I was just going. So which way is the right way then? I don't know what you're doing. I was doing this and you said it's the wrong way. So now I'm doing this. That's the wrong way. So I was going the right way. Well, you look the wrong way. So go. There you go. Yeah, break it. There. <laughs> got it. Got it. So you stay over there. Oh. I'll get it. Okay. We're gonna put that that phrase. Meanwhile, two decades later, two thousand years later. Do you even know what that's from? I think it's like SpongeBob. You actually know that? I've never watched SpongeBob. How did you know what it is? Okay. Stop it. I'm gonna stop it. Get, no, get out. Get out. Yeah, one more try. Get out. You got one more try. Get out. <laughs> okay, take that one. No. Here. Why do you make that look so easy? I loosened it for you. You got it ready. You got it ready. Set the wrenches down. Let go. <laughs> Just pull the string off like it's something easy to do. You did just sit on there. Don't hit yourself in the face. Don't sigh at me. Get out of here. Two decades later. That's a good idea. I like your, I like your form. <laughs> you may need a, a screwdriver. Well, not really a big screwdriver, but evenly dispersing all the prime. <laughs> Look at that. See Just that? pull it off, huh? I'm sorry I don't have big old bear claws like you. Okay. What is it? 
know. Let me see. It's broke though. Don't be from the lens grips. No, that's part of the part of the U joint that oh. blew apart when I was beating your dry shaft off that I gave you. <laughs> oh, it's so strong. Oh! I like when your hair is in a ponytail. Shake it. You're <laughs> dark. Why was this side so easy? Because you knew how to do it this time. I knew how to do it before. It was just hard. All of it was hard. Look at that. Probably just clean up without using that steering shaft. Or sell. Flaming River shaft. Perfect condition. May have been involved in an accident. Or two. So it may have hit a wall or three, four. It's like a, it's like a yard sale over here. But nothing's worth anything. <laughs> Excuse me. Anything else you want to say? What, what are we doing with all the parts? We're taking this fine piece of equipment to Mr. Pettis next weekend, this weekend. We're taking this fine piece of equipment over to Mike's transmission. Mm -hmm. We're sending these out to North Carolina, I think. To uh, we're, we're probably going to see him in a couple sports. weeks too if we go to Georgia. And then we got to send out, that's another parts department over there we got to oh send. Oh my goodness. Poor Jason at TVM. This is oh, the second time he's... We got to send my brakes out. We got to send this equipment out. You think we're going to... You think we need to send the, the spindles out to no, race track um, again and ask no, them if they're still good? I'm definitely not <laughs> saying. we'll just order new ones this time. I mean, last time it was if I don't think time. I don't think that's going to work. This time I think it's pretty obvious. Anyways, anything else? There's no bondo there. Oh. How about that? Yeah, so at least the car's coming along here. Okay, we're out. Bye. Bye. Go ahead. <laughs> Hello. Um, that's the end of the video. Hopefully this answers some questions that I've been getting about where the Maverick stands now um, and kind of what the damage was. I've had this car for 10 years and I put my heart and soul into it. So if I don't seem too excited about pulling it apart that's probably why but yeah this is not the only video that we're gonna have there will be more of pulling it apart and that will be coming up next week and there's bill what? <laughs>